Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier last week we talked about Mega Carnivine, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Honchkrow. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week we'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below. But what would you keep? What would you change? And etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Honchrome. Now, I told you guys uh, within like the past couple of Why Mega Evolve videos, meaning in Mega Carnivine's video and also in Mega Young Mega's video, that I wanted to start talking a little bit more about 4th Gen Pokemon, considering that 4th Gen has been out for around 9 years. Uh, it came out around 2007, I believe that's when Diamond and Pearl came to the US, and... Uh, 4th gen is literally the only region besides 5th gen, because considering 5th gen is, it's, it's still new, but it's not to the point where it needs a 3DS remake yet, but besides the point, like I was saying, uh, 4th gen, in my opinion, is going to probably be the next generation of Pokemon games that's going to be getting a remake on the 3DS. Now, when it comes to the regions that get a remake, like, for instance, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we got a lot more Pokemon from that specific region, or whatever corresponding region get a remake, gets more Mega Evolutions, and I think 4th gen has a good handful of Pokemon that honestly needs a Mega Evolution and Honchkrow really is no exception considering that if you look at its stats before the Mega Evolution the only thing going for it is its physical attack and its special attack and that's technically completely it. So a Mega Evolution for Honchkrow really wouldn't hurt all that much or in sense it wouldn't hurt at all. So I wanted to give this thing a Mega Evolution. I also want to see a Mega Evolution for Mega uh, for Honchkrow just because that it's also a Pokemon that uh, has a pre-evolution from a different region uh, like I was saying about in the Mega Jinx video like how Electabuzz and Magmar got an evolution in 4th gen, and same thing for uh, Honchkrow, it's pre-evolution Murkrow, which is also from 2nd gen, got a uh, evolution in 4th gen, so uh, I would like to see this thing get a mega evolution as well, because then that way its defenses and speed and its attack stats will also get a higher, a little bit more buff as well. So. As you can tell from what I've done to its uh, stats, I did increase everything because honestly everything I needed to get increased and also um, it wouldn't really hurt to get increased. So with all that, let's just get right into it. So for its physical attack, I increased it from base 125 to base 145. Now we already know Honchkrow is a, most of the time a physical attacker and it does get access to the abilities uh, Insomnia, Super Luck, and its hidden ability Moxie. Now most of the time people run Moxie and they also run Sucker Punch which is an amazing set to have on a Honchkrow because most of the time what you would see is that you would see a Life Orb, the Moxie ability and you see Honchkrow spamming the fuck at a Sucker Punch and also it's a Dark type move while also Honchkrow being a Dark type Pokemon it's going to be stabbed so it's going to be doing a little bit more damage than it would have without being a stab move but once again like I was saying usually most of the time they just spam the fuck out of Sucker Punch get your Moxie boost uh, I think it's plus one uh, yes, it is a plus one if you're if Honchkrow knocks out a Pokemon because of the Moxie ability. So uh, that's what most of the time you see on uh, Honchkrow is just that they spam the fuck out of Sucker Punch, and that's pretty much like Honchkrow is only like useful for because like its speed is also complete booty. But we'll get to that in a sec. And like most of the time, like I said, without Sucker Punch, um, this thing does get access to like Night Slash, uh, Wing Attack. Now I don't know if this thing gets access to Brave Bird. I don't think it does. Uh, yeah, it does get access to Brave Bird, but nobody honestly really uses it unless you actually predict the switch because its defenses are complete ass. But most of the time, uh, the only move that Honchkrow uses is Sucker Punch. So increasing its physical attack to base 145, Sucker Punch will do a lot more damage. Also, it's going to be stabbed, so it's going to be doing even more damage. And I, th I feel like being a base 145 for its physical attack would be really good in my opinion. So that's why I increased it to base 145. And 
and for its special attack I increased it from base 105 to base 125 now with Honshiro also being a, a physical attacker it's also a special attacker or if in this case if you want it could be a mixed attacker because Honshiro does get access to quite a few uh, good special types of attacks and I'm just going to name some off it does get access to heat wave which is pretty much all bird Pokemon get well most bird Pokemon but it does get access to heat wave another weird move that it actually gets which is actually surprising is icy wind um it gets access to nightshade but i'm pretty sure like it, it, that's pretty much a given it gets access to ominous wind air cutter i don't know about like air slash but it also gets access to dark pulse so there is another stab move you can run on this thing um what else is there uh it gets access to psychic shadow ball uh hidden power obviously uh it does not get access to air slash which kind of sucks but the moral to the point is Honchkrow can be a special attacker if you wanted to and also it can be a mixed attacker so what you can do is pretty much like run Sucker Punch, Brave Bird, uh, I don't know, Night Slash and then have a special move like for instance either like Dark Pulse, Icy Wind or Heat Wave and you're pretty much set to go so with Honchkrow being both a physical and a special attacker this thing is going to be doing a lot of work when it comes to competitive play because this thing can be an all around attacker if you wanted to so with base one. 25 special attack this thing is going to be doing a lot of work while being uh, a mixed attack or just being a full-on special attacker now for its defenses <laughs> I increased them from base 52 to base 72 now it this is partially the reason why Honchkrow in my opinion needs a mega evolution is because Honchkrow's defenses both of the defenses is complete ass and just no it, it's so garbage like literally this thing is a glass cannon and that's why I was mentioning about sucker punch this is pretty much mostly what haunch crows only do is that they just spam sucker punch because it is a priority move haunch crow hits so fucking hard when it comes to physical attacking moves and it's just like <laughs> that's the only thing going for it so I wanted to increase its defenses to base 72 even though it isn't all that much um, it still would be better than base 52 and also uh, I gave it a new ability which I'll get to in a sec which actually helps its defenses but once again base uh, 72 for its defenses alongside with its ability is actually going to be pretty decent but once again I, I really wish Haunch Crow would be a lot will get a lot more like physical defense and special defensive bulk whenever it gets a mega evolution so uh, if it does, I hope it kind of goes along, cor kind of corresponds with what I'm actually doing for the, uh, Honchko in this video. And last but not least, uh, I increased its speed from base 71 to base 91. Now, to be completely honest, when I actually found out we were getting Honchko, I thought this thing was going to be a really, really fast bird. But, eh, no. <laughs> its speed is completely... I wouldn't say it's bad, but at the same time, I expected it to be a lot higher than base 71. I honestly expected its speed probably to be around base 100 to base 105 is when I actually, or what I actually thought its, its uh, speed stat would be. Now, back in the day, I really didn't care, like like about stats or anything like that but like when I started getting into competitive play and all that I actually thought Haunch Crow was a lot faster than base 71 and I was kind of highly disappointed because I thought I thought this thing would do amazingly in competitive play but my whole mindset when it comes to like com like competitive Pokemon is that you kind of have to control your uh, the, the speed tier your defenses also have to be somewhat good and Haunch Crow didn't have any of those like traits so I want to increase its speed to base 91. I mean, it is going to be a very fast, I wouldn't say a very fast Pokemon, but it'll be like on par with like a lot of like OU mods. If, I believe this thing is an OU. If, well, if it's not, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I can see this thing in OU, but like I said, its speed set isn't all that bad with at base 91. It's, it will be able to compete with like a lot of uh, Pokemon in the UU tier and the OU tier, so it's not that it's going to be all bad. But its speed increase was necessary for Haunch Crow. Now, as a regular Haunch Crow, its base stats at 505, and with a Mega Evolution, is going to be at 605. Now, for its ability, now I know a lot of people are probably not going to agree with this. While they're probably thinking, "Well, oh, you should have kept Moxie, or you should have given it an ability that actually like increases its like attack or something like that." Well, in sense, 
I didn't want to do that because I don't want Honchko to pretty much end up like Mega Absol, being a very offensive physical and special attacker, also having some decent speed, but its defenses are literally piss poor and can literally die from literally any Pokemon that comes its way, whether if it's like a super effective move or not. So what I wanted to do for Honchko is that I wanted to give it somewhat of a defensive ability because it, the mega design that I'm using kind of corresponds with this as well and that is Feather Guard. Now what Feather Guard does pretty much uh, is kind of like solid rock and filter I believe and pretty much super effective attacks get, are getting cut by 105 or by 105. So pretty much uh, if you times 72 times 1.5 that's going to be Honchkrow's new base stat, and I already calped it up, and it's going to be base 108 defenses. So, part of the reason why I did this was because, like I said, I don't want Honchkrow to end up like Mega Absol, being a very frail Pokemon whatsoever, not limiting any hits. I mean, it will gradually outspeed some, like, some of the Pokemon OU and UU, but I also wanted this thing to be a lot more bulkier than like base 52 defenses in both its defensive stats or in this case base 72 in both of its defensive stats because that in my opinion is still considered a glass cannon. I mean it could probably take a hit but it's literally not going to take it as well as you probably would think. So giving it an ability like Feather Guard which pretty much like I said cuts super effective attacks by 1.5 would do it some good. Now I was actually contemplating about either 1.5 or 1.3 but I felt like in the long run uh, cutting it by 1.5 would do it a lot better than 1.3 obviously because you're literally your base stats are going to be for its defensive stats are going to be base 108 and that's going to be a lot better than like I said base 72 defensive stats for like a mega haunch crow so uh, like I said that's why I've given it like a defensive ability and for its typing I left it alone as dark flying honestly there's really no reason for me to change it because dark flying is a perfect Perfect ability for it. it's perfect for like how haunch crow looks i mean it gets a lot of good acts it gets access to a lot of good uh dark type moves it gets access to a lot of good flying type moves so uh there, like i said there's really no reason for me to switch it so with all that there is mega haunch crow so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment and subscribe now uh, the next Pokemon we're going to be talking about, I'm just going to cut right to the chase, is that we're going to be going back to second gen. I feel like we already talked about three fourth gen Pokemon for now, so I kind of want to save some for later in the future. So like I was saying, we're going to be going back to uh, second gen, and we're going to be talking about a Pokemon that I think should have received a Mega Evolution uh, when it came to the second gen, and that is going to be Mega Mantine. So, yes, on, what is it, Friday? Yes, <laughs> on Friday we are going to be talking about Mega Mantine, so, uh, yeah, so with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, also don't forget to comment and subscribe. Once again, coming on Friday, we're going to be talking about Mega Mantine, so this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.